Welcome to Ale and Tail First Pints, a demo for the upcoming highly anticipated Ale and Tail Tavern due to be released on the 5th of September. Say hello to Fizz, a handsome, rugged looking man. Female avatars will be available in release, so bear with me here. Who comes across a simple merchant who appears very keen for you to take over the tavern. Buying a tavern, I suppose? Well, today is your lucky day. The tavern we're standing in front of has just been put up for sale, but don't rush to spend your money. Try on the role of an owner. Test yourself. He also likes to gossip and just happens to slip in about the monsters that roam the area. And of course we can buy the weapons from him, as well as everything else that we required. What a coincidence. So after buying the axe for 200 coin, I make my way to the tavern to see what kind of state it is in. After breaking the planks to get to the tavern itself, I had this feeling that there was going to be a lot of work and it wasn't going to be cheap. After going back to the merchant, who for some reason always seemed happy to see me, I bought my broom for another 200 coin and began the clear up job of sweeping the floor and getting rid of the cobwebs. Though I have to admit these spiders did seem very resilient as their webs kept returning. After feeling happy with myself that the tavern looked a little bit more respectable, I realised that it was empty. There was no tables for the customers to sit at and there was nowhere to cook. So after I was guided to install a fermenter and a brewing pot, I became a little concerned that being a tavern keeper was going to be an expensive and challenging pastime. So off I went back to the merchant, who was smiling even more broadly now, or I was just imagining it, to buy the dishwasher, stove, the fermenter and the brewing pot, and installed them into the tavern, hoping they were placed in a convenient place. On realising we had no ale, I made some barley wort at the brewing pot, fermented it and got it ready for the customers, along with some barley porridge in the pot on the stove. I remembered to add the recipe and ale to the menu so my customers knew what I was selling. And then I opened the tavern and waited for the influx of people and waited. So to pass the time, I swept up and got rid of more cobwebs, probably the same ones as before. Eventually, in the early hours of the morning on day two, my first customers arrived. A not so talkative burly chap who wanted an ale, which I happily poured for him. Soon the customers started arriving, some with very little clothing on, I must say, and I wasn't quite sure where to look. I began to realise I was running out of bowls and mugs, so I collected the water from the well and did some washing up. I really couldn't afford to keep buying new bowls and mugs. It was a laborious job, but the bubbles made me smile. I soon began to feel very tired, so I closed the bar up and decided to take a nap. Well, that was the plan, until I realised there was no bed. So I leant against the bar and had 40 winks. This carried on for another day, serving and cleaning. Though this paid dividend as my tavern increased in prosperity and I had access to new recipes such as boiled corn. Yummy! <clears throat> but before I even had a chance to figure out how to get corn, things took a sinister turn. A zombie. Nope, sorry, two zombies appeared in the tavern. The merchant never warned me about this. So after chopping them up with my rusty axe, I went to have a long discussion with the merchant and talked about insurance for the tavern. He then told me to go and look for a skinny, scary guy hanging around the back of the tavern. So I thought, and why not? And I decided to go and check it out. Let's leave Fizz to check the person out, whilst I tell you a little bit about the game and my thoughts. Ale and Tail Tavern is a first-person open-world action-adventure fantasy tavern simulator that blends various genres, including online co-op, hunting, farming, exploring, and of course, cooking. Developed by Cyanide Games and published by Grab the Games and Upgrade Point, the demo has gained overwhelmingly positive reviews. So, what makes this game so special? Let's dive in and see. In Ale and Tail Tavern, you play a tavern keeper who inherits an abandoned tavern in dire need of some TLC. A lot of TLC. Your mission is to restore it to its former glory and popularity by maintaining and enhancing its appeal to the locals. The game offers numerous ways to achieve this, including exploring and questing in different biomes, Cooking and brewing, yes, you do brew your own beer. Fishing, farming, hunting, 
and breeding animals. In this demo though, fishing, questing and breeding wasn't available as yet. And hunting is limited to, well, the local zombies and a few very large troublesome spiders. While this may seem overwhelming, Alien Tail Tavern offers an online cooperative mode for up to four players, allowing you to team up with friends to run the tavern even more efficiently and tackle quests together and help you kill those zombies. This feature does add an extra layer of fun to the game, I have to admit. The game features intuitive controls and makes it easy to navigate the tavern, interact with objects and perform various tasks. The first person perspective enhances immersion, making you feel like you're truly managing a bustling tavern. There is also a dynamic day and night cycle, which affects the types of counters you have, like those pesky zombies. Graphics and sound. The graphics in Ale and Tail Tavern are vibrant and cartoonish, bringing a whimsical world to life. The local characters are striking, though so are a bit lacking in clothing department. The zombies and spiders are a little bit less frightening though, due to their cartoonish appearance and movements, but there are jump scares to be had. The soundtrack fits well with the game's fantasy epic theme. However, I found the sound effects a little bit lacking. For instance, the bubbling sounds were repetitive, and as far as I know, a fermenter doesn't bubble. One of the game's strengths is its voice acting. To buy, to sell, and they'll also share some news with you. What a wonderful place, and such kind people. Our land is wonderful indeed, but it's not always peaceful, especially at night. Monsters roam the forests and swamps, disturbing the peace, but don't be afraid, I have weapons too. Could you elaborate on that? Don't sweat it. It's mostly just village ghost stories, but getting an axe is a good idea. You'll use it to keep things in line at the tavern and to send any troublemaker packing. You have a way with words. Although I only encountered two characters in the demo, the voiced dialogue added a sense of immersion. Interestingly, you also hear your character speaking back, which enhances the experience. Currently, the character creator is basic and only offers male avatars, but the full release will include female avatars, which I assume will also change the voice. Areas of improvement. As mentioned earlier, this is a demo of the game and it lacks much more of the content that will be included in the full game of Ale and Tail Tavern, such as courier orders, enhanced cooking, and new mechanics like fishing, potion brewing, and cave raids. However, there are a few quality of life improvements that could enhance the current experience I felt. UI enhancements. Adding the time of day to the UI would be helpful rather than having to switch screens, especially since the day and night cycles impact gameplay significantly. Financial clarity. It will be beneficial to have a clearer indication of how much money you are making as the current system of random pop-ups on the left side can be easily missed. Making money is very crucial since you need to purchase many items to get started. The leveling system. Currently, there is no indication of what you gain when you level up, but this may be addressed in the full game. And a little tip. Don't forget to tick the dishes you plan to serve in the menu book on the counter. I spent an hour serving just porridge, wondering why nobody was asking for boiled corn. <clears throat> who would, I have to admit. It turns out I hadn't ticked the menu, so my customers didn't realise I was even serving it. And a variety in recipes does play a big difference in this game. Conclusion. I recently finished playing Tavern Manage Simulator. And if you want to know what I thought about this game, please take a look at my review in the video above. Tavern Manage Simulator has a very similar premise to Ale and Tail Tavern. However, Ale and Tail Tavern is much more ambitious, incorporating a wide variety of content that might be slightly overwhelming for solo players. This makes me wonder if Ale and Tail Tavern will be marketed more as a game to play with friends, unlike Tavern Manage Simulator, which is a single player management game, but with very similar gameplay. In summary, even in this demo version, Ale and Tail Tavern offers a vibrant and immersive experience with its cooperative mode dynamic day and night cycle and mix of genres, making it stand out. Overall, I found the game enjoyable and I believe it will be a worthwhile addition to any fantasy game enthusiast collection. I am definitely looking forward to the full release on September the 5th. I haven't rated the game as I usually would since I haven't played the full version. 
I am, but I am excited to play it and review it. If you don't want me to miss this review or you would like to see my other reviews, please hit the like button and subscribe. And let me know in comments if you're thinking of playing it. Thank you for watching and take care.